stop dwelling in your past your past has already passed and the man that wants to live in the past will pass away with the past you understand what i'm talking about stop dwelling in your past and what is the past past mistake past failure past disgrace past shame past miss opportunity any one of them past sin anything past stop dwelling in your past if you continue remembering your past steps and continue reminding you your past he will rob you your today and your tomorrow glory so therefore stop dwelling in your past you have to forgive yourself you have to forgive yourself if it is the area of sin forgive yourself why do i say so i discover many a times god has forgiven us but it's very difficult for us to forgive ourselves god can easily forgive us but we hardly forgive ourselves the bible says, i will remember your sins no more so if a man committed sin maybe you sin against god you ask god for forgiveness and with your genuine heart you ask for forgiveness i want to tell you that the lord has forgiven you stop dwelling in your past stop allowing satan to bring your past to your today i will give you some examples in the scripture number one example i will give you is the word of god in the book of isaiah chapter 43 verse 18 the bible said do not remember the former thing behold i will do a new thing so the lord is telling you stop remembering the former things stop remembering the old things stop remembering what had happened to you before the bible said behold that he almighty god will do a new thing even the lord understand how terrible your past was the lord understand how terrible your sins was what you did yesterday and the lord is telling you stop remembering your past stop dwelling in your past behold i the lord will do a new thing and number two example i will give us today is our brother paul paul in the bible bible told us how paul killed many lives how paul destroyed many lives that you and i know all the things paul did all the sins and atrocities paul committed against god even against humanity but the bible said that after the encounter the lord gave to paul paul repented that is to say paul asked for forgiveness in the book of philippians chapter 3 verse 13 he said brethren i do not count myself as though i have apprehended but this one thing i do forgetting the past forgetting those things that are behind me that is the past and looking towards those things that are before me that is present and future he said this is one thing i do what did paul do apostle paul forgot all the days that satan used him all the atrocity that he he committed all the atrocity all the sins he committed against god and against humanity he said but now one thing i am doing now i forget the whole thing i am looking towards today that is someone that forget the past stop dwelling in your past mistake stop dwelling in your past iniquity it may be past failure you failed yesterday and because of your, your your yesterday failure you don't want to try again but i want you to know that for this part that you fail means that you are trying failing somehow is a pass mark failing somehow is a good is a good result but you may not understand it you can never see any child that is working today without her falling uncountable times even the bible said that righteous man falleth seven times and it also rises up seven times so if you fell yesterday stop dwelling in by your failure rise up today for sure have something for you for sure have something for you
you fell yesterday you discover you fell you discover you committed sin you discover this and that you did yesterday don't worry stop dwelling in your past we shall have something for you so i am telling every one of you here right now forgive yourself and also stop dwelling in your past because your today is glorious and your tomorrow is wonderful don't allow satan to use your past mistake past failure past disgrace past shame past iniquity to hinder you from your today excellent and the lord will bless you as you do so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and also follow my facebook page the lord bless you drop your questions so that i can be able to answer your questions whatsoever question you have drop it i will give you answer i will give you reply the lord almighty bless you and keep you in the name of jesus christ amen See